kind of, I guess, get this out of the way first. Everyone's, I think, curious to know kind of where you are in the process of uh, whether it's you're applying for a waiver or, like, where are you at in terms of playing in the fall and do you think you will be able to play in the fall? Well, I know my intention right now is, uh, you know, school first and uh, just, you know, getting through the spring and uh, we'll, we'll let the waiver stuff handle itself out, you know, so. Have you already applied for one? Yes. Okay, and that's to play this fall? Yes. And you're enrolled now taking classes? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Have any idea of time frames on, on the waiver? No time frame. Okay. Like I said, my intention right now is to graduate in, uh, you know, this uh, this spring. So how's that going for you in terms of acclimating yourself to Maryland and, and spring practice? Well, this is home. You know, coming back home was a big opportunity for me to, you know, come back and be around my family, friends, and loved ones, and uh, just acclimating to, you know, the, my teammates and the new coaching staff is uh, – is uh, the same as it was at Ohio State. I had like three different coaches. So, um, you know, I'm adjusting well. And, you know, like I said, it's good to be home. What would you say was your main motivation to coming to Maryland? Was it the family aspect, the Mike Loxley aspect? What was the main motivation to coming to Colorado? Well, originally being from here, you know, like I said, this is uh, this is where I'm comfortable. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to come back with uh, Coach Loxley, which was uh, a huge opportunity for me. Um, and it's, it's really, uh, it really was a no-brainer once I put my name in that transfer portal. If, if he had not been here, would, would the attraction be as as great? Um, no, I think uh, I was originally committed my um, my twelfth grade year, going up to you know, uh, committed to um, Merlin, and uh, it was an idea that I had. Uh, I wanted to come here from the go, and uh, unfortunately, he took the job at uh, Alabama, which uh, made me open up my my options. And um, you know, like I said, I had an opportunity to come back once I put my name in the transfer portal. So. What's it been like being coached by Loxley so far, like playing the defense? What's it been like just being in the system with Maryland so far? Well, even though he does have a defensive history, he's a, he is a big time offensive guy now. So uh, we, we don't I don't see him too much on the you know the defensive side, but uh, I know uh, we're trying to give him problems on that side. So, what position are you looking to play? Well, uh, similar to what I was doing at Ohio State, outside linebacker position. Um, Sam specifically, um, yeah, just trying to be around the ball more and more. Coach Loxley had mentioned that with you, you come from a place where there's a winning culture, and, and obviously he does too. Do you think that makes a difference when you're, in terms of your mindset or what you're familiar with? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, just bringing that uh, culture in it, of uh, just playing a leadership role and uh, showing the guys how how it is to, you know, just have that winning mentality, which a lot of the guys already have, is just getting everybody on board and uh, believing in, uh, you know, this year. Well, have, have you felt comfortable speaking up like right away? I, I know you, you're probably familiar with a lot of these guys already, so you probably. Absolutely. Uh, like I said, Justin was easy for me just because uh, I'm familiar with a lot of the faces, um, coaching staff, um, and then just playing my part, doing my job, sending back, and uh, seeing how these guys work, and they, and they work extremely hard just like any other college in, the, in America. So, What's been your impression of the linebacker room so far and what guys have kind of stood out to you out there in the first few weeks of spring ball? I mean, we all do good things that, you know, contribute to this defense, and uh, I'm just trying to play my role and just be a leader for the younger guys and show them, you know, how to, how to work and, uh, you know, how to, how to be a winner. On Saturdays in the fall, how many people do you say are in your group and your family are going to come out and watch you play in College Park? <laughs> I got a small family, but, uh, you know, I got a lot of friends here. But, um, you know, hopefully uh, just get my mom, you know, mom to the game more and more. Uh, she doesn't have to travel all the way to Ohio, so uh, that's important to me. But, um, you know, anybody's uh, welcome. How would you characterize your three years at, uh, at Ohio State in terms of, you know, on the field? Well, I would like to definitely talk about off the field, too, because uh, I matured as a man. And uh, just being away from home, you know, I had, I had a lot of opportunity to, you know, self-reflect. And uh, Ohio State helped me out a little lot. And uh, I will ever be, you know, grateful, you know, to that university. But, um, yeah, uh, it definitely um, it was a great three years. I uh, learned a lot from the coaching staffs. And learned, I just learned how to be a winner and how to be a professional. Do you feel like there's any linebackers on the team that when you're in practice with you sync up really well with or you play off really well? Anybody that stood out with you that you really feel like you've bonded with so far over what the eight practices you guys have had so far? I think I'm big just feeding off of energy. Energy and uh, vibes. Uh, we try to come out of the practice every day and just with a good energy and good mindset that, you know, just attack the day. And uh, a lot of those guys come out ready to work. So it's easy to adjust and uh, play with them boys. Do you look at what Trey Watson did in one year here? Um, you know, coming from after being at Illinois for three years and then becoming a first team all Big Ten player, is that sort of a blueprint for what you sort of aspire to? Absolutely. I definitely aspire to, you know, 
fill those roles with what Trey had uh, did here, and uh, he's definitely gonna have an opportunity uh, at the at the draft, and uh, he's definitely been an inspiration for me. You know, as coming in as a transfer, seeing what he did, and um, you know, I wish him the best. What would you say that Maryland fans can expect from you? I mean, for those who haven't seen you at Good Council, or for those who didn't get a chance to see you very much at Ohio State, what do you feel like you offer the team? What do you feel like they're going to get a chance to see from you if you are able to play this fall? Um, hopefully, uh, you know, playing that leadership role. Uh, I, look, I also look to be a captain. Hopefully that, that comes in the future. Like I said, uh, time will tell, and um, we'll see how this spring plays out. But um, you're just going to get somebody that's going to work hard and uh, try to keep these guys motivated and learn how to, you know, learn how to be professional. And I know Loxley, you know, has talked a little bit about, you know, trying to find those leaders on the team. You know, have you had any of those types of conversations with him about, you know, being that player to, you know, come and step up? Oh, absolutely. Um, as, a, as a transfer and uh, being at Ohio State for three years, you know, you have somebody that would experience. So, um, you know, I just, well, those conversations just like coming here and step in, step in and be a leader, you know, lead by example and not by words. Last fall, you were on the other side of that overtime game. What did you see from this group during that game that like made you comfortable coming here? And what do you feel like you had in terms of like intensity? I, obviously, uh, you know, we were close in a close one, and um, it, it came down to the last second. And uh, being from here, you want you, you want to see your boys do good. But um, being on the other side at Ohio State, you know, we, we, we had to make sure that we finished the deal. So uh, it was definitely nervous nervous on, the, uh, on my side. But um, the boys uh, in Maryland showed a relentless effort, and um, I was, it was glad to see them fight and, uh, you know, show the world that they do have the capability of coming out on Saturdays and competing with anybody. And the Big Ten are, you know, NCAA. What do you remember about the last play? Um, I didn't, I didn't even want to watch it. <laughs> I didn't even want to watch it. All I kept seeing on ESPN the replays. It was that close. So uh, I'm just glad that we uh, came out with the win. But uh, now, now I'm here, and uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to uh, that Ohio State game later on in the future. When, when you were a good counsel, since you were committed here, uh, how long have you been a Terp fan? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm from here. Uh, I think. I wanted to say uh, just staying close to home was important for me. Uh, I'm a bit, I'm big on family. I'm big on family and friends, and then just having everybody close to me uh, that supports me, and uh, you know that that makes me comfortable enough to come out here and do what I love on Saturdays, and I uh, know that I have that support system. Is there any story about the jersey number? Because I know Darnell wore it last year, and he sort of was handed it down from by uh, Will, or was it just? You wanted number four. Well, I, w I would like to say it was passed down to me, but no, uh, Darnell, uh, he's a he's a great player. But um, no, just no, no story behind it. Just uh, just wearing number four this year. What, what can you tell us about Coach uh, Hoke and his defense and what that might look like? Well, I know one thing's for sure: we're gonna bring that pressure. <laughs> going back to Trey Watson, have you had a chance to speak with him? Has he given you any sort of words of wisdom or words of advice? Uh, no words of advice, but I know we, you know, we support support each other, and uh, like I said, good luck to him in uh, his future. Time for two more. Schematically, how has Maryland used you so far in practices? Or are there any ways that you've been used that you really like that stand out to you so far? Um, similar to you know, just what Ohio State tried to use with, uh, in space uh, off the edge, and um, you know, just trying to be around the ball more and more. Coach Shiano was saying that you had to fight through some adversity last year. I don't know if you can comment any further on that, but was it, was it injuries or just just in terms of last year? Um, not no no adversity. As far as just uh just kind of just being that leader for the younger guys. Uh, it's a you step into a role that sometimes you don't want to play, but uh, I took a full advantage of my opportunities on special teams and uh just try to help my team out as best I could. So um, uh, no adversity. As far as you know. Not playing so much, but just having the mindset to come out here and uh, you know contribute as much as I can to the team.